Welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Here I am in my 1.2 overviewer map. Uh, we can see some of the terrain changes have happened. Uh, jungles were added in this version of Minecraft. I have begun to capture a few more villages. As you can see, I have worked in MC Edit to capture a few more villages. You see some of the jungle terrain. This is Beta 1.7.3. This is Release 1.0. This is Release 1.1. And this is Release 1.2. lot has changed. I am unsure if I have fully done a lot, and I don't think I have. I've got two very close northern villages. So I will jump into the actual world, give you a small tour, We'll see if we can walk to the 1.2 terrain border, which isn't super shocking, but it exists. And <coughs> give you a nice look around. You can tell how this taiga uh, in 1. Point, excuse me, 1.0 didn't have snow in it, but in 1.1 it did have snow in it and it, it retroactively fixed it which has got a snow in the world or rain in the world weather in the world and then it'll, then it'll start to look proper all right so let's get load up the actual world and I'll Alright, we've loaded up Minecraft for at least 1.2.5. Uh, that was the last version before the terrain changed again in 1.3. Uh, and we will load up our 1.2 Angel Wolf's Journey world and have a look and see if we can walk to the 1.2 terrain change. as the world loads up here. Not a lot has changed because it doesn't really change because the terrain is set in old chunks. Just sometimes the biome changes. It only happened in release 1.0 to set old uh, chunks to have new biomes. That was the only time that changed. We're a little bit sluggish here. Mostly because 1.2 was a little bit of a, a little bit of a resource hog. Alright. Not a lot has changed in the base. We're just gonna take a good look. And walk the future railroad and show you the terrain changes and if we can reach the 1.2 chunk border. Alright. Let's do a little bit of a sprint. And a hop to get some more speed. Also, I should mention since release 1.0, uh, mobs have been permanent, and they also introduced breeding, so that that's why mobs are permanent. Otherwise, they used to be spawn in the beta versions of Minecraft. Alright, here is a chunk border base I designed. I use uh, 
pumpkin, well, jack-o'-lanterns for lighting, mostly because it's flush lighting, and it mostly solves the problem. I'm going to use this centerpiece uh, to have a lava lighting system in the exact center, and that'll fix these dark spots. Is In this version, uh, block lighting of six or lower will spawn mobs, seven or greater will not. There's a uh, multi-level base. There is multi-purpose. Go to the absolute bottom. I place this with MC Edit. It's my world, I will do as I please. And I think I fixed this in release 1.3. But I also have a crafting bench just because why not? In the exact center, it makes things easier. Also have a bed, which we might need to sleep in. It is dark. Dark does not make good for, for good videos. Well, being night out does not make for good videos. At least not on YouTube. YouTube's algorithm for compressing the video is crap. Alright, here we are. You can see the magnificent of the base. The chunk border base. This will be the future extension of the cross-border railroad. It is partially set into the terrain, so I could not show you the roof section. Let me see if I can get far enough back to be able to show you that. I might not actually have to. I might be able to show it to you from the side. Then we'll get back on with our journey. There it is. Partially set inside the terrain. It is half in... Uh, the new chunks and half in the old chunks. With the center portion with the future lava lighting system will be on this block. Alright. So let's get on with our journey to the 1.2. I think it is 1200 something to reach the 1.2 chunk order. So let's get on with our journey and we'll see what I can do to talk to you and entertain you. Uh, as I'm recording these all at once, I haven't been able to respond to any comments and I won't for a while. What I mean by all at once is in chunks. Because I only have the ability to sit for about two hours at a time because I'm a disabled individual. And that is my allotted record time per block. And future ideas will be started in release 1.12 at a minimum. Uh, whether or not I fully implement a bunch of things in release 1.12 is another another matter. Uh, the reason 1.12 is because that's when the famous 2B2T hack clients uh, start to function and work well. So, that's why I'll be able to fully utilize the world as I want to work, use it. It's my world, I'm going to do as I please with it. It's mostly just to locate uh, chests and dungeons and things like that. It's mostly for an advantage. That's about it. Because I'm not going to be multiplayer with this world at all, or anything like that. 
I'm just playing it to enjoy it and build cool things and share it with you all. The YouTube community. Alright, we're approaching the 1.1 chunk border. Let's see how much longer it will take us to get to the 1.2 chunk border and then we will leave it off at the 1.2 chunk border and pick it up for 1.3 but for now we're at 1.1 we're looking for about 1200 to reach the 1.2 chunk border I'm gonna keep you all entertained to some degree to keep the video going so I can keep ads on the video and you all keep watching to some degree. I'm mulling over a few ideas to try and keep some engagement. So I might answer some Patreon questions, but probably at this point there isn't a whole lot of Patreons following me. It's only $5 a month. You get a producer credit, and you get to help me design and build things in the world. And you get access to the videos one day early. It really isn't a bad deal. It's only $5 a month. But you don't have to if you don't want to. Your company is actually more than enough. Like I said, there were a lot of swamps in this version. <coughs> Excuse me. No, that's not it. What is that pillar? Oh, that's not a pillar. That's a village that I captured. It means we're close to 1.2. Very close to 1.2. I just don't know exactly how far it is. I can look it up. I have notes. But I don't feel like it. Let's just guess and see what happens. But the chunk border will be unmistakable. As you saw with the 1.1 and 1.0 chunk border, it's very obvious, even with very little changes. Should probably add a 1024 to my. 1024. Actually, it was 1 1.1 that was at 1200. It's a little bit further for 1.2, but it's here. It's a coming. I don't want to walk too far. I think I see it actually. Uh oh, ow, that hurts. <laughs> Not like I could feel it, but he can. My, my Minecraft guy can feel it. Steve can feel it. That's his name. That's the Minecraft guy. Alright, here we are. Release 1.2. Let's try and find the zero, 0 section to be able to... leave you off. Ow, quit doing that. That hurts. Ow, that hurts. I say as I do it to myself. Alright, now we can finally climb up and over. Zero out that negative 45 number. We can find zero zero again. 
right, we're on positive zero. There it is. We have found it. Not quite, but we have found it. We're about two blocks over. Alright, I'm going to leave you off here. Don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe. And also, if you feel inclined, join me on Patreon. It's only $5 a month. You get a producer credit. And you get uh, to see the videos one day early and help me design things to build in this world and help me shape the terrain. Thank you.